Freshwater Bay has always been viewed as a beautiful and desirable place to live. It's located midway between Perth and Fremantle. Prior to European settlement, it was filled with Art Stewart and Jarrah with an understory of peppermint trees. The area was occupied by Aboriginals for its fishing and hunting and supply of fresh water. The founding of Fremantle in 1829 displaced the Aboriginal culture. The sandy shores of Freshwater Bay were a welcome stopping point for travelers rowing from Fremantle to Perth. The large trees of the Perth coastal plain were quickly cut down to use for buildings, bridges, and roads. The completion of the Great Eastern Railway from Fremantle to Perth led to the subdivision of Peppermint Grove by Sir John Forrest and other wealthy investors. Lots were large to attract the investment of timber mining and cattle barons who built large mansions complete with barns and carriage houses. Many of these mansions survived to the present. The furnishings then, as now, were luxurious. These houses retail today in the $10 million class. They bear the hallmark of a bygone era. At first, private horses and carriages were used to reach the Cottesloe Beach and the railway station. The line from Fremantle to Perth was serviced regularly by large steam locomotives pulling long carriages. By the early 1900s, some of the wealthy settlers in Peppermint Grove were purchasing some of the first motor cars. From the early days, Freshwater Bay was a popular place to meet friends on the shores of the swamp. The bathhouse was built in 1902 and was a popular venue for swimmers at Freshwater Bay until it was torn down in 1938. In 1896, the new settlers joined together to build a large two-story freshwater yacht club. This was located directly at the end of Irvine Street and was occupied until 1936. One of the early settlers, Edward Keane, built a large house on Keene Point on the west side of Freshwater Bay. In 1936, this house was purchased by the Freshwater Bay Yacht Club and shortly thereafter became the Royal Freshwater Yacht Club. The year the Keene House was called Colquin and is still part of today's Royal Freshwater Bay structure. 
The club, with over 2,000 members, has since expanded to include boathouses, wharves, and large verandas. It's been very active in hosting social events. The club participates in annual competitions for sailboat classes and a variety of motor launches. Many of the Peppermint Grove youth have learned to sail The popularity of the club is to be witnessed by the large number of sailboats that appear often on the Swan River. The larger yachts even participate in ocean cruises and races. For the non-sailor, the sandy beaches and clear shallow waters of Freshwater Bay are attractive for many other activities. One of the features of Freshwater Bay is the presence of large numbers of black swans and ducks. The beauty of the region attracts many photographers and artists. Fishing by both birds and humans alike, particularly for bream, is a popular sport. The Yacht Club is a popular venue for weddings and other social activities. The second story verandas provide a beautiful view of the river.